Hello everyone, I'm Japneet here and in this video I'll give you the review for today's task, today's uh, exam actually and today's 16 uh, January and uh, the listening was easy, reading was moderate and if I talk about task 1 it was single bar graph, uh, moreover uh, it, it was easy actually and let's move to the task 2 and here is the statement and one more, once uh, once again the prediction came true, task 1 when I bar, it was bar. Right. Okay. So, uh, a hai statement. The best way for a country to prepare for future is to invest more resources in its young people. Okay. Un jadi aaj hi sigi how true ali. Idi jagah te siga apna. To what extent do you agree or disagree? ठीक है. मतलब इदी जगह ते सीगा. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. Otherwise, the statement is same. People the kar same hai after that. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. So we are not following any structure, nothing. But we are just reading this sample. It is not even in order, but okay, let's see the ideas, okay? In recent times, future preparations in some countries have been in the limelight and have aroused the wide concern. Some people are uh, of the fervent conviction that supporting new citizens is the perfect way to prepare for the future. From my perspective, I partially agree with this idea. There are several reasons why spending sources and new generations is proven to bring enormous merits to uh, for the country. First of all, improving the educational qualification for the youths sets the pivotal platform for them to become more competitive in the labor market. Such a result reduces not only the unemployment rates but also the crime rates known as consequent of unemployment. Secondly, uh, people who grow up with opportunities for education are more capable of becoming successful people, right? Contributing the sustainable development of country. In Vietnam, here is an example. Okay, for instance, the government has allocated a government lagaya hai huge budgets to, to provide fav, uh, favorable condition to a student. As a result, more and more people achieve uh, significant success in their major, such as Professor Ngo Bao Chao. Okay, this is an example of Vietnam's professor. Okay, despite the above arguments, the government should also pay attention for their key fields. Unke jo main fields us pe bhi government attention deni chahiye. Uh, spending money on tourist attracts numerous tourists, especially interna uh, international travelers. Therefore, it is of paramount importance to uh, to the government in developing the economy. Moreover, healthcare system plays the essential role in preparing for the bright future. Thus, improving the quality of health facilities is necessary. To take a, con a concrete example, Vietnam government invests huge funds to improve the health facilities in rural areas, leading an import uh, improvement of quality of life of ethnic minorities. In conclusion, here is the conclusion. While the notion of preparing for the next generations is the worthwhile in views of some people, I believe that investing in other key fields such as healthcare system and tourism is also necessary. Okay. And the overall level of exam was moderate. Okay. So this was our review. I hope you like it. Listening and reading can be So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe this channel. Thank you.